We are gonna talk about attitude. Not only really attitude for trading, but I guess just an attitude for life. Let's go. Now the camera guy just told me that uh, that whole, you know, let's go sounded kind of angry, but it wasn't anger. It was just adrenaline, uh, I guess passion, we'll call it passion, but not anger. But like I said, we're gonna talk about attitude. And attitude that is super important for trading, no doubt, no doubt about that. But I, I guess when I think about it, yeah, it's just, a, is it your attitude towards life in general? And I'm gonna break it down into two cards. We have the victim card and then the let's go card. And I'm gonna explain what both of these are and then kind of tie that back in together with how it port pertains to trading and where I see it pop up the most, which just kind of tells me what, I, I can't say for sure and all that's guaranteed that person's gonna fail or that's guaranteed that person's gonna you know, succeed, but it is a, a very kind of insightful look into a person's mentality and just life in general and it's a mentality that you definitely need to bring into trading. So what is the victim card? Well, the victim card, you know, is pretty much something where when you have that motivation is essentially like mud, meaning it's so hard to get motivated to do anything. Everything's against me. The everything's rigged, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're just playing the victim card. I'm not saying you can't get motivation, but in terms of staying on the motivation and just having motivation, long lasting motivation, that's probably the better way to put it. It's just really hard because it's kind of like just slogging through the mud with motivation, you know, woe is me type attitude. Or as the common saying goes, you know, the glass is half empty. You know, that's pretty much your outlook on everything. The glass is half empty, poor me, pity parties all the time. Yeah, I'm trying to be motivated, but it's hard to, not only get motivated, but especially stay motivated. And that's just, you know, that's no good. And let's tie this into trading. How is this tied into trading? Well, I see this a lot and it drives me nuts. Somebody says, well, the goal here is, I don't know, let's just make up a number, but we'll say $2,500. That number is totally random. But the person with the victim card attitude looks at that and says, oh, I only, have $1,000 and then they just leave it at that. I need 2,500, but I only have $1,000. Woe is me, uh, there, I, 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 just, I guess I gotta go gamble with the money. I gotta go put it in some sort of, cause there's just, I, I only have that, so my options are very limited. So yeah, that's just the way it is. And that's just the victim card attitude. And it does, you don't have to have that viewpoint on that. So now we're gonna talk about the let's go. And the let's go is, you know, what I tried, I'm not saying I'm perfect with it, but the motivation here is actually too much. Meaning, you may have people say, well, just slow down. I, I love it, but just calm down. You do need to sleep at least like a few hours a day. Just chill out. I, I realize that you already have two part-time jobs and you want a third, but I don't, is that really healthy for you? Just Calm down, calm down. I realize you got some goals, but just chill out. That's what the let's go attitude is all about, is you are motivated, and not only is it easy to get motivation, you can keep it, and motivation actually grows and grows. So this attitude is, you know, the glass is half full, but it's gonna be overflowing. And that's just the attitude that I love to see. So how does this attitude tie back into trading? Well, as, oh, you're the victim, I, I only have $1,000. You know, that attitude with the let's go card attitude, they're saying, I only need $1,500 more. And like I say, I see this all the time. Uh, whether it's in regards to the pattern day trading rule or just maybe some other number, oh, I only have that much. Don't look at it like that. Look at it as, what do you need? You only need $1,500 more. So let's go, let's go get it. Do what needs to be done. I don't know what needs to be done, whether that's picking up another job, whether that's looking at your budget and cutting out some unnecessary expenses. Uh, I don't know what needs to be done, but 
I only have versus I only need, meaning let's go. You got to look at the market like that. And this is just a, a simple example, but you can see how this attitude can translate to many different areas of not only life, but even trading. You have to not be playing the victim. Oh, you know, the computers, you know, I, it's the market makers. Oh, woe is me. They're manipulating everything against me. Give me a break. Take charge. Let's go and get out there and make whatever needs to happen, happen. If you are in this camp where you want to get up to some sort of threshold, whether that number is for uh, to, to invest in some education, to just get your trading capital a little bit bigger, I don't know what that number is going to be, but don't look at it as you only have a certain amount. Look at it as I only need a certain amount more because that's setting you in the mind frame of, yeah, I, let's go. It's a goal. I can get there and you're going to go and do it. So maybe I'm ranting a little bit, but I just can't stand the victim card attitude out there when I see it. Just change your mindset and it's going to change a whole lot of you know, things, not only in trading, but in your life. So let's go get out there and have the right mental attitude to not only succeed in trading, but just succeed in life in general.